So, welcome to my tutorial series on my mapping. Uh, now I want to show you the tempo, sync and uh, deck view adjustments. Plus another feature, I don't know how to call this, it's a beat jump I guess. Yeah. So uh, I want to begin with the um, tempo and sync feature. We have our track running here. Oops. So we got the track running here. And yeah, we can sync this track uh, pretty easy with the sync button here and here for each deck. So we need enough track running. Which is right now at the same tempo, which is pretty boring. So uh, yeah, we have got different BPMs. So I'd say I want the left track to be at the same speed. So I first have to make the master. Pressing once, there you go. Master switches over. If you press the sync button once. And if the master is right, press it the second time and tempo is the same. This is just a tempo sync, this is not phase sync. Phase is still controlled with these auto rings like on a CDJ and can thereby be adjusted. I like this to be not as a uh, just as a uh, tempo sync, not a phase sync, because sometimes the beat uh, the grid is off and then you have to adjust again. Yeah, just do it by hand and works pretty well. Um, another way to alter the tempo is with the tempo fader. Basically on the VCI the concept was to have two tempo faders, just for each deck one. But now we have the sample control for the liquid decks, which just leaves us with one tempo fader. And therefore we use this tempo fader for both decks. Again, just by the deck buttons and tempo up and tempo down same for this pretty easy and you might wonder what happens if I press both buttons yeah if you don't wonder never mind I did wonder and I did a mapping for it so if we press both buttons at the time both decks have the exact same tempo. This is a pretty nice feature in my opinion. Because let's say we have this slower track on the left hand side, which is originally at 100 BPM about, and this dance track on the right side with 132 BPM, and we want to have a nice and smooth transition, and that we can get a loop of the slower song, just works the other way around too, and just have a nice and smooth flow. So we wait for a bit of an instrumental coming up in the song, on the master song, and then I will show you Okay, so we have our loop running on the left side and out on the right side. And we can fade the very fast loop from the left slowly into it. And then we can 
pitch them both down. There you go, super smooth transition, although we have a very big tempo gap between those two songs, keeps the flow on the dance floor, pretty nice, I kind of like it, just nah, not, not doing it that often, but from time to time, pretty neat feature. Well, then uh, the next thing is uh, deck zoom, pretty easy, deck button, zoom, in just for setting very precise cue points or something be nice or to just get an overview for some kind of drops something just zoom out to see enough and just let's say we zoom in really really much in and just do not want to press this button so so often you can just press the browser button once and it switches back to a default setting. Um, you might want these buttons here do, and now you've seen it, you can jump eight counts in each direction. Same works for deck B, just the same as you've seen it on deck A. Yeah, that was the sync tempo and deck controls stay tuned for the next tutorial and so far i have fun with my mapping and yeah stay tuned see you